oh right, going to show you that Satan can actually mimic and counterfeit gifts of the Holy Spirit. And that just showing that these charismatics are doing these counterfeit gifts by the power of Satan and devil spirits, not by the power of the Holy Ghost. You see, the Word of God condemns this charismatic movement as unscriptural and antichrist. It's that simple. I'm going to show you from the Word of God how that is so. So let's get right into the scriptures and show that the devils can actually mimic it, mimic and counterfeit the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And these charismatics, these modern day charismatics are no different. They are doing the same thing by the power of devil spirits. So first of all, Elijah, a servant of God, was able to call down fire from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. 2 Kings chapter 1 verses 10 to 14. And Elijah, and Elijah answered and said to the captain of fifty, If I be a man of God, then let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And there came down fire from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. Again also he sent unto him another captain of fifty with his fifty. And he answered and said unto him, O man of God, thus hath the king said, Come down quickly. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And the fire of God God came down from heaven and consumed him and his fifty. And he sent again a captain of the third fifty with his fifty, and the third captain of fifty went up, and came and fell on his knees before Elijah, and besought him, and said unto him, O man of God, I pray thee, let my life and the life of these fifty thy servants be precious in thy sight. Behold, there came a fi came fire down from heaven, and burnt up the two captains of the former fifties with their fifties. Therefore let my life now be precious in thy sight. He could call down fire by the power of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost. The apostles, the apostles of Jesus Christ, also had the ability to call down fire from heaven by the power of the Holy Ghost. Luke chapter 9, verses 52 to 56. And sent messengers before his face, and they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him, because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, wilt thou that we command wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did? But he turned and rebuked them, and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. So both the apostles and Elijah had the ability by the power of the Holy Ghost to call down fire from heaven. Now the Antichrist will be doing lying signs and miracles in the time of Jacob's trouble by the power of Satan. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 8 to 10. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness and of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. So Satan will be given the Antichrist, that wicked there, mentioned in verse 8, the ability to call down, to basically do powers and lying signs and wonders by basically devil spirits. Satan will give him that ability to do lying signs and wonders. One of those lying signs and wonders will be calling down a fire from heaven. Revelation chapter 13 verses 11 to 14. And I beheld another beast coming up of a uh, coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth of them which that dwell which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed, and he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire to come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had the power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast uh, which had the, which had the wound by a sword, and and did live. So one of those signs and wonders he'll be doing by the power of Satan will be calling down fire from heaven, just as Elijah and the apostles had that ability as well. So you see, Satan can mimic that gift of the Holy Ghost, that that miracle from the Holy Ghost, that sign from the Holy Ghost of calling down fire from heaven. The false prophet will also be doing miracles by the power of Satan and by the power of devil spirits. Revelation chapter 16 verses 13 to 14.
And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth, and of the whole of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of the great day of God of that great day of God Almighty. Revelation chapter nineteen, verse twenty. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, uh, with, with which he deceived them, that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brimstone. So, the false prophet will be doing miracles by the power of spirits of devils. Okay, The charismatic movement is no different. They're doing lying signs and wonders by the power of Satan and by the power of devil spirits. And they'll accuse you, oh, you're blaspheming the Holy Ghost. I did a video on that. Read Matthew chapter 12, the verses tw uh, 31 to 32. You can't blaspheme the Holy Ghost unless Jesus Christ is physically on the earth. In Acts chapter 2, verses, I believe it's verses 13 to 15, the apostles were mocked for doing the gifts of the Holy Ghost, and they didn't threaten anybody with committing the unpardonable sin. They just espoused unto them the gospel, essentially. So you can't commit the unpardonable sin today because Jesus Christ is not physically on the earth. You're not Jesus Christ. Plain and simple, if you're a charismatic out there. I know you may think you're Jesus Christ, but you're not. That simple. The charismatic movement is doing these lying signs and wonders by the power of Satan. That simple. Clearly, we've seen that Satan can mimic the gifts of the Holy Ghost, the signs and wonders and miracles that Elijah could do by the power of God, and that the apostles had the ability to do. Calling down fire from heaven is that one such example. So don't be deceived by this modern-day charismatic movement. They are a satanic. Plain and simple. They are dwelled by devil spirits. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.